Tina from Remedy Cat here showing you how to install the Purchases SDK on iOS via CocoaPods, Carthage, and Swift Package Manager. Let's start with CocoaPods. Here I have an empty Xcode project and the first thing you want to do is enable the in-app purchase capability. Navigate to Citing Capabilities, add a new capability, and search up in-app purchase. Then you'll want to come over to the terminal and just make sure you're in the correct directory. Now run pod init to create your pod file. Then you'll want to run pod install to create your workspace. Once this is completed, you can close out this window and open up the workspace that just got created. Then you want to navigate over to pods, pod file, and directly under where it says pods for your project name, you would type in pod purchases. Navigate back over to your terminal and rerun that pod install command. You should notice that now it has installed purchases and purchases core Swift. Now you can just come back over to your project, navigate to app delegate, and you should be able to import purchases. Now under application, you can configure your purchases SDK. You will need a API key and this can be found in your Remedy Cat dashboard. I don't have one currently on hand, so I would just name this your API key. And the last thing you want to do is directly on top, you would want to set debug logs enabled equals true. Then I'm just going to test that this compiles and runs on a simulator. We recommend testing on a real device, but if you are testing on a simulator, be sure to head over to our documentation about adding store kit configuration files. Now, after a few seconds, you should notice debug logs at the bottom only have an invalid credentials error because this API key is not valid. However, you should be good to go after copying your API keys from the dashboard. Now I will show you how to install the Purchases SDK via Carthage. The first thing you want to do is to enable the in-app purchase capability. You can do this by navigating to signing in capabilities, add a new capability, and search up in-app purchase. You want to come over to your terminal and just make sure you're in the correct directory and run touch cart file. Then you want to run open hyphen a xcode cart file. Once this file has opened, you can type in GitHub and in quotes revenue cat slash purchases hyphen iOS. Go ahead and save this file. Come back over to your terminal and run Carthage update. Now, the next thing you want to do is to add this purchases framework into your project. Head over to general and scroll down to where it says frameworks, libraries, and embedded content. You would notice that the cartridge folder just got created. Go ahead and open this, go to build iOS and where it has purchases.framework, go ahead and drag this over to your Xcode project. Now you will want to switch over to build phases, that plus icon on the top left and hit new run script phase. Go ahead and expand this out. And underneath where it says shell, you would type in slash user local bin Carthage copy frameworks. Now the plus icon under input files, you would go ahead and add an entry for this framework. So here you would type in Carthage build iOS and purchases dot framework. Now navigate over to app delegate and you should be able to import purchases. Under application, you can configure this purchase SDK with your API key, which can be found in your Remedy Cat dashboard. Don't currently have one at the moment. So for now, I will type in your API key. Directly above this, you would type in purchases dot debug logs enabled equals true. To test that this compiles and runs, I will just run this on a simulator. We usually recommend testing on real device. However, if you are testing on a simulator, be sure to head over to our documentation about adding store kit configuration files. Now, after a few seconds, you should notice that there are debug logs on the bottom. Currently, we're getting an invalid credentials error because this is not a valid API key, but you should be good to go after pasting over your API keys from the Remedy Cat dashboard. Now I will show you how to install the Purchases SDK via our Swift Package Manager. First, come over to github.com slash revenuecat, head on over to Purchases iOS, 
under code and just copy that link right there. Now head on over to your Xcode project, go to files, Swift packages and add package dependency. Here you will want to paste in that link we just copied earlier, hit next. And for the version, make sure to click up to next major, click next again. Now you want to make sure you will add purchases to the correct target and go ahead and click finish. Once this is completed, you can head over to your app delegate and you should be able to import purchases. Now under application, you can configure this purchases SDK with your API key, which can be found in your revenue cap dashboard. Don't currently have one at the moment. So for now, I will type in your API key. Now, the last thing you want to do is right above this configuration, you would type purchases dot debug logs enabled equals true. I'm just going to test that it compiles and runs on a simulator. We usually recommend testing on a real device. However, if you are testing on a simulator, be sure to head on over to our documentation about adding store kit configuration files. After a few seconds, you should notice debug logs on the bottom. Currently, we are getting an invalid credentials error because this API key is not valid. However, you should be good to go after copying and pasting your API keys from the Remnicat dashboard.